Hey guys, it is Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so happy you are here. And if you are new here, welcome. I love sharing videos here of home decor and cooking and DIY. So if you love those videos too, make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Today I'm gonna to take you along as I redecorate and refresh my kitchen for pre-spring giving it a cozy look and just shopping my home and switching things around. I love doing that. I'm also going to share my recipe for my very favorite gluten-free peanut butter cookies. You guys, these are so, so good. Even if you don't do gluten-free, but you love peanut butter and you love peanut butter cookies, you have to try this recipe. So anyways, you guys, sit back, relax, grab a coffee or a tea, and let's get decorating. Before I start decorating, I'm gonna give the counters and backsplash a quick wipe down. So I start with a clean slate. One of my favorite scents for spring to clean with is Mrs. Meyer's Lemon Verbena. It is such a fresh and clean scent. I'm gonna add this white pitcher with some greens. I already had this one cloche from Home Goods, as well as the cutting boards there. And then I added this other cloche, which I actually had in my dining room, filled with these faux pears I love, as well as the striped towel. To the other side of the oven, I added these anchor jars. I love these anchor jars. I've had them for years. They are practical and functional and make great decor. They were actually down in my basement and I haven't used them, so I brought them up, filled them with flour, rice, and rolled oats, and they look great tucked here, along with this crock that I also haven't used in a while, and I filled it with some of my wooden utensils and tucked it in the corner. I also shopped my basement and found this copper kettle, which I added to the stove. And in this corner, I already have the lamp. I also added a white pitcher with some greens and salt and pepper shakers. I always love the way a roof looks above a stove. It makes the kitchen look so cozy. What I did is I took a suction cup and added that to my cabinets and then hung this eucalyptus wreath that I found last year at Target. Next up is this kitchen rod that I always love styling and everybody always loves as well. And I just added some pot holders and a tray as well as a tea towel and a basket that I always have there to just give it a fresh new look. Over on my coffee station, I kept it pretty simple. I already had the scale and lamp there. I added this cutting board as well as a riser and a white pitcher filled with some greens. For the kitchen table, I took apart one of my tear trays and I used the bottom of the tear tray for the center of the table. Then I added this vase from Kirkland's and filled it with some of these florals. These are Dollar Tree florals that I dipped in a coffee. I actually showed how I did this to give it an aged and distressed look over on my Instagram page. Onto this table, I added the other half of the tear tray as well as a white pitcher filled with some greens and another vase from Kirkland's. I also love having a diffuser in my kitchen. I actually had this one sitting on my counter for a while, but I moved it over here and placed it on a riser and I love the way it looks. I am currently diffusing the Welcome Home Blend from the Modern Farm Set. I absolutely love this blend. It makes the home smell so cozy. If you diffuse oils as well, let me know in the comments below what your favorite blend is. And I love this diffuser. I bought this diffuser because I love the cozy glow. Now 
it's time to make some yummy gluten-free peanut butter cookies. You guys, these cookies are so, so good. To my mixer, I'm adding one cup of creamy peanut butter. The recipe calls for a half a cup of brown sugar and a fourth a cup of sugar. I'm actually using monk fruit sugar instead, and I'm going to mix it together until it's combined. Next, I'm going to add one large egg, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, and one teaspoon of baking soda, and mix that all together until it's combined. I will include a link to the printable recipe in the description below. making big bakery style peanut butter cookies. So I roll two tablespoons of dough in my hand and place it on a parchment lined baking sheet and then I use my fork to mash it down. Next, I'm going to sprinkle the dough with some coarse salt. This part is totally optional. And then I'm going to pop these in a 350 degree oven for about 10 minutes. And here they are all done. You guys, these cookies are so good. You have to try them. If you do, let me know how you like them in the comments below. And here is the kitchen all done. I am so happy with the way it turned out. Well guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you got some decor inspo. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you try those peanut butter cookies, let me know how you like them in the comments below. You can also follow me over on Instagram at Mother Time for daily decor inspo. Thank you guys for spending some time with me today and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.